hey guys what's up welcome once again okay we are continue going to continue with our speed optimization series for wordpress we have already talked about these five things and we are in already into the free plugin section where we have talked about lot of things such as lazy load server response time caching and in this video we are going to deal with static resources such as javascript css and html we need to optimize this static resources so that our websites load quicker and in the next video we are going to use uh, make a video on asynchronous load of javascript for which we are going to use a separate plugin that's why the separate video uh, uh, and this will end up the free plugin section and then we'll move on to the premium plugin section and then perhaps uh, a site ground section site optimization section so we'll do basically what we'll install a plugin that will optimize our uh, static resources such as HTML CSS and JavaScript and for before that I would like to ask you to please subscribe to my youtube channel and i am i think uh, my subscriber base is increasing i'm happy with the love you are showing and i would definitely uh, want you to like and comment your doubts if you have any all right so our simple procedure let's go to plugins and click on add new let's install a free plugin that will help us super optimize our static resources type in auto optimize but check the spelling there's only one single o not uh, not two o's separately just a single o auto optimize uh, i made some mistake auto optimize okay i i was missing and you'll get a plugin recommendation i suppose yeah, this one auto optimize by Frank Gossens and there's other pro plugin for critical CSS however we are not going to use that we are just interested in this plugin auto optimize click on install now I think it's the best plugin for minification however I do warn you that minification and optimization of static resources may usually break your websites so it is important not to do too much of optimization so just follow along with me follow along the process with me do the settings as I am telling you and that will help you prevent messing up your website so fine so here optimize we can go to settings or you can also go to settings in the dashboard and then click auto optimize both will open the same page so let's click on settings and let's see what are the settings that we need to do firstly we are not going to optimize javascript for that let's click on optimize and it will open a lot of options for us aggregate js files javascript files yes we want that however do not select any other feature as of now because it will uh, uh, create lot of caching files that will uh, slow up your website and it is not highly recommended for most themes and hostings that you enable any of the other features here so let's move on to the other section of css code yes css code we can do aggregate also also inline also aggregate css and also inline all css yes we want that so these four i guess the four options we need to enable in css options section i'm not going to explain all the features otherwise it will be a one hour video so let's do the settings as i'm telling you and you can trust me on uh, the backend <laughs> functionalities that I'm, I have read and I'm talking about I'm talking some sense about it fine let's optimize HTML as well leave it as it is just enable it miscellaneous options try enabling everything and then just click save changes and empty cache okay here comes the most important part here comes the most important the next tabs will check in some time but in this tab what we have to do after clicking on save changes if we go and visit our website in an incognito window and try refreshing your page and check every page whether it is working perfectly or not if it is breaking like my website right now it's breaking it's breaking my website is not loading at all see the images and all are missing there should be an image every web every page of my website is breaking with these settings so that what what we can do i told you minification of javascript and also css can really break your website so it is important to know a little more 
about the settings so how we are going to solve this first we need to enable the features as I have recommended then if it happens for your website also then click uh, inspect right click and click on inspect and then go to the console section when you go to the console section it's there is showing a lot of errors and all the errors are related to notes common v to dot js dot js dot js dot js dot js dot javascript if your error is with some similar to this a javascript error can also be of many types but if you are uncaught error of javascript go back to your settings and in the javascript options option section this option right below at try catch wrapping try enabling it and see if it solves your problem let's click on save changes save changes and let's refresh it let's refresh our website to see if it resolves our issue let's check from the above yeah it does it does perfectly see this image was missing I showed you on uh, just recording it live huh? fine so this solves my issue because it was some uncaught error of JavaScript type however however there is a catch if this doesn't resolve your problem then I would like you to know about few things this minify excluded CSS and JavaScript files try disabling this and click on save changes this could be the main culprit if that doesn't that try catch wrapping doesn't solve your problem then this minify excluded CSS and JSS file could be the main culprit that is breaking your website so what you want to do is disable save changes and then click your web check your website in an incognito window again doesn't resolve try playing with the settings because this is the best plugin try playing with the settings disable one more feature or try enabling one and disabling the other and see what works best for you but I have already told you about the best settings and this should work for most themes because JavaScript you know it is very uh, related to the themes you are using so I'm using a simple theme Astra but if you are using some this is a free version as well if you are using some theme forest heavily coded JavaScript coded uh, theme then it will have it will uh, manifest in some other way the error may be something else so you need to play around and if it nothing worse then you can uh, disable this plugin and your website will start running back again so this this is for it this is uh, you know for that in this video we are not going to talk more about it because it will make my video lengthy in the next video we'll talk about how to asynchronously load javascript and that that we'll talk about in the next video hopefully the you can find all the videos of this playlist in the link in the description so kindly do subscribe and watch all the videos it will really 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 take your websites to a, uh, a very good uh, it will provide very good optimization for your website thank you so much for watching